when you run a system with more than 50,000 classrooms operating on any one day, the issues of, of individual and collective well-being are very, very paramount to the work that uh, teachers and, and students and schools and communities engage in uh, through education. So for us, well-being is absolutely as important for uh, all of our young people and our school communities throughout New South Wales as are the basics of literacy and numeracy. Well-being means for all of our young people and for all of us indeed, the social emotional um, ability we have to deal with the world that um, impacts on us every day. The department um, has for many years um, relied very much on a, an approach to uh, well-being that was probably um, designed more than 20 or 30 years ago, uh, focused around uh, student welfare. And for us, student welfare was very much a, um, a top-up. It was for students who didn't actually have what others had, and so we, we spent time lifting the self-esteem for those whose self-esteem might have been lower. What we are needing to do as we move into, uh, I guess, the future is reposition the way we see well-being into a much more contemporary um, focus on young people and what impacts on young people day to day. What we've got to actually do to achieve that is reshape and redesign and reorganise the way in which all of us um, see the well-being of the individual and the well-being of the collective and be able to respond to it. The Mental Wellbeing Impact Assessment Tool is a fantastic uh, instrument to guide our field people to ask questions that look at the holistic issues that impact on well-being. It looks at all of the players that um, we draw in. Very often in schools we um, overlook the voice of um, the children or the voice of parents, the voice of community in the decisions we make about uh, the structures we have for behaviour in schools, the structures we have for leadership in schools, the structures we have for um, student voice in schools, etc. And so for us it was important that we have people thinking day in, day out about the actions they're taking and the tool really does uh, guide us in that way. It gives us a mechanism by which to engage in professional dialogue uh, with a range of, of um, uh, people um, from our sort of you know sort of local contexts, be they education people or non-education people, and arrive at 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 a position that gives us evidences that will um, guide the decision making, that um, will empower young people and and communities to be uh, in control of the decisions that um, impact most on them.